Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, today I'm so excited to do my second video in a series of videos I dedicated to wigs as protective styles. This is a new wig I'm trying on by Free Tress. It is called Nia Girl and this is color 4 which I don't know if it's coming up on camera um, but it is more of a reddish brown. The wig I wore in my last video I feel like it was a bit darker. This one has um, a little more red in it and it's coming out is more like a curly fro. This particular wig I did not have to cut, but essentially this is the look of the wig, which I absolutely love. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions or you have any wig styles you think might be interesting for me to try, please do leave them in the uh, comment section below. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into this wig review. Hey guys. I found this wig in my local beauty supply store for only $19.99, so it was less than $20. Um, so I could not pass it by. <laughs> um, like most wigs, it comes with a hairnet, which is great for newbies like me because I don't have any supplies yet, and it helps you to maintain the shape of the wig when you're not wearing it. Like most wigs, it comes with a comb in the front to help you secure it there, and then also, two combs in the back that allows you to secure the wig in the back as well as a drawstring which is great um, at helping you to secure it and mold the wig to your own sort of head shape and type. Now I'm going to prepare my hair for the wig installation and I have decided to leave some of my hair out in the front. I like to blend my natural hair with the wigs because I think it provides a more natural look. I will regret that later in this video because this braid out texture, or twist out texture, or whatever it is, is not working. But I thought I would leave it out anyway, at least to start. So the wig installation, of course, was really, really easy. Um, the wig went on very smoothly and the combs really help to kind of anchor it in place. It's not moving. The wig is very light. These curls are gorgeous. First, the hair is super soft. And then I love the texture of the hair. It's very similar to my own. And I think it's very similar to many fine haired naturals, but I'm not feeling the front. The front of my hair does not work. So I just went ahead and pulled my hair um, back in underneath the wig and I'll just begin to style from there. Now the wig felt loose on my head. So I went ahead and used that drawstring to help tighten it a bit so that it could feel a little bit more secure. But what I found was I have a small head and I needed to use hairpins um, or bobby pins to further anchor the wig in place. I like to work my bobby pins back and forth like that um, because when you have fine hair or you have low density hair or even thinning hair, you need to work with those bobby pins a little bit so that they stay in place and are anchored. So this was, again, a beautiful wig. These curls are the softest curls I have ever felt. The front hairline I absolutely loved because instead of having like a band in the front like um, some wigs do, it actually is fully covered in hair, which I think makes for a more natural look when you wear it. Like if the wind blows and that kind of thing, you know, it just looks more natural to me. The wig cap itself is very, very generous. So if you have very dense hair, you should have no problem putting this bad boy on. These curls are absolutely gorgeous. The texture is great. They're kind of loose, but not too loose, and they come pretty defined. So one of the things I realized is that I loved the curls, but I wanted them to be a little more imperfect. So I decided to run my fingers through the hair and just kind of finger comb it. Um, this way I could make the curls look more realistic while also adding volume to the wig. You all know I love big hair. <laughs> and so as you see, when you, finger t um, when you finger comb it, you get a lot more volume. And then as you can see, the curls look much more natural than they did initially. 
So I'm really happy with that. So I'm just gonna take the wig section by section and then carefully finger detangle, or not finger detangle, but finger comb each section. When you finger comb the wig, you wanna be careful because of course this is a synthetic wig and synthetic wigs will get frizzy and all of that on their own in due time. So you wanna make sure that you're not over finger combing each section, all right? Because you do wanna allow the wig to last as long as possible. Also, some people use like a wig brush or a paddle brush, and I just find with synthetic wigs, the finger combing method works best because you extend the life of your wig that way. So yeah, I loved these results. I loved the volume and I loved the curls. I had to get my cabbage patch on y'all. All right, so I'm just gonna pin a little bit of the hair in the front down so that if the wind blows or something like that, you don't see where my natural hair meets the hairline of the wig. And it's pretty safe on the sides. The density is of the wig is great on the sides, so I didn't add any bobby pins there, but yeah, this is how I chose to style it initially, and I actually really, really love this style. I think it's very becoming to, you know, most face types, and it's super easy to do. This is like a wig that just came out of the box. I didn't have to cut it or do anything except for finger comb it. Like, that is super easy styling to me. So I'm gonna show you another way to wear the wig, which is pulling it all the way to the front so that the front hairline of the wig actually becomes your hairline. So as you can see, when you do that, you get a little more hair in your face and um, I like the curl sort of coming to the front. The only thing I don't like is having hair in my eyes. So I'm gonna create a faux bang um, the same way you would do it on natural hair, just by using a bobby pin to pin some of the hair back at the base of the hairline and then allowing the other hair to fall over it. And so that creates a nice faux bang. And I felt like that really allows you to frame the hair around your face really nicely, but then have all this other volume. My daughter says they all the styles look the same on me. <laughs> But I don't know, I like it and I love this particular style. So I'm gonna show you one last way to wear this wig and that is by simply pushing it further back on your head, like behind your ears and then using the drawstring to tighten it so that it is, is as secure as possible. And then really all you do is just fluff it Get those baby hairs in check, girl, yes. And then just comb that hair or brush it, the hair so that it's nice and smooth to your liking um, in the front. You want your exposed hair to look really nice. But I feel like you cannot beat it for $20. You cannot beat being able to rock this wig in a variety of different ways and literally within five minutes for each style. I will probably wear this wig um, further toward my hairline rather than back behind my ears because I do like the hair kind of coming toward the face and framing the face. Um, because this wig doesn't have a part in it, you have so many options in terms of how you move the hair around here. I'm kind of um, moving the hair to one side so I have kind of a faux part and I absolutely love it. So I hope you guys really love this video and love this wig. This is like a winner, especially for newbies. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to thumbs up, share, and comment, and I will see you guys next time.